Hi, I'm Pamela Young, founder and CEO of The Young Agency, located here in Phoenix, Arizona. I started the company back in 1996, and since then we've become recognized as the largest in the southwestern United States of America that specializes in representing all ages, all sizes, and all looks, including ethnic and cultural diversity, for print media, fashion runway, commercial television, film, social media, and web content. Hi, I'm going to start you out with a series of different things that you'll need to know in the modeling and acting business. So today we're going to talk about the interview process and I'm going to share with you some do's and don'ts. I have about eight tips on what to do when you're at an audition interview and about six tips about what not to do when you're there. So let's go over the do's first. And number one is be assertive and self-confident. It's so important that when you're out there and you're talking with a casting director, we like to see you come in assertive and self-confident and there's a difference in being arrogant so look up the word if you want to be familiar with how you should behave because it matters to a casting director when you're in there we know how you're going to be on the set and assertive just means you're you're ready to be a team player you're pitching in you're helping you're helping uh, us see that you're going to be a part of the project and self-confident comes through uh, when you're sharing and you're you're giving us feedback and and telling us how you feel uh, versus being arrogant where you know it all and you're always interrupting others and just keep those kind of things in mind so the second do is act comfortable with high energy so when I say that I just mean come in with your natural great self uh, show your high energy uh, show that you're a part of the team that you're wanting to be a part of the team and that will help your interview go better because we understand that uh, you're comfortable in your skin uh, that that's just naturally how you are and if you need to prepare before you get to the interview uh, watch something funny laugh for two minutes straight whatever it is that's going to get you in a great mood and and pull your energy a little bit higher uh, that always goes far uh, with us in an interview. Now, tip number three, it's smile a lot. And it's interesting that I even have to put that in as a tip because that should be something you wear all the time. Be the first one to smile when you see someone. And uh, when you come into an interview, smile. It goes a long way with us. Uh, now and day, nowadays, we're, we're in a day and age where it matters uh, someone's attitude and allowing them to be on your set and when you see a smile you know that you probably want to work with that person and so my biggest tip for you is to go in with a smile bring it with you and have a good time now my tip number four is breathe to project your voice it's so important that we hear you if you're within yourself and you're mumbling and we can but if you take a deep breath and then you project, we're able to understand you from across the room. We're able to see that when you're on set, uh, even if a microphone's further away, we can catch what it is that you're saying and be able to project. So practice breathing deep. I've always heard 25 deep breaths in the morning. I at least go for a good 10 and uh, get yourself into the habit of breathing and purposely breathe at lunch take in 25 deep breaths and at night so that your body's used to having uh, being familiar with breath that's all we have breath and water those are the important things about a body so yes absolutely breathe deep decide what it is you want to say and project those words action all right let's take on tip number five then five is make eye contact. It's so important to make eye contact. Even though that makes some of us nervous, I have a tip for you. Just look right between someone's eyes or right at the tip of their nose. And no one knows whether you're looking them in the eye, but it feels like you are. And that's very important because if you're looking down at the ground or you're looking up in the air, it makes me think you're nervous. If you're looking down at the ground, I feel like you're hiding something and you feel shifty or shady. And I don't want to work with that person. But if you're looking me in the eye, I can trust you and I can see that you mean what you say. So again, the tip there is if it's too hard for you to look someone in the eye, 
go ahead and look right between their eyebrows or at the tip of their nose. It looks the same, okay? Okay, let's start with tip number six. And one of the do's that's very important is to listen. That's why we do have two ears, to listen when we're in the room. And it helps the casting director see that you're paying attention. So put it at the top of your list to go in with the intention to listen rather than talk. Action. Okay, let's go on to uh, tip number seven, which is to have good posture. It's so important to have good posture anywhere you go. And here's a couple tips that you can do at night. You can uh, stand up against a wall and put both shoulders back on that wall and just breathe there and just stay there. And then you can feel your body and how it feels and the comfort of being uh, in a place where you have good posture. The other thing that we teach is put a book on your head. It can be a life book and uh, if you go to look down it's going to fall in your hand or fall in your lap. Uh, and try walking with it and get comfortable with holding your shoulders back, your head up and having good posture. And girls actually, uh, men and women, learn how to walk on the runway with that technique. So try it at home. It'll get you in the habit of having good posture everywhere you go. Okay, and on the do's list of what to do at an interview, let's go with tip number eight. That's our final tip for you today. And really what I'm talking about there is to show interest. When you're in the room, don't just show up like you came for an audition. It's another one. Knock, cross it off your list and move on. Come into the room and show interest of what it is that they have there to offer. Show interest in the project, what the name of it is. Uh, show that you've done some in, uh, research. Even if you haven't, be in the room and show interest there. Sure. All right. Now we're going to talk about the don'ts, what you don't want to do at an interview. So the number one thing you don't want to do is fidget. Do you ever see people fidgeting? And it makes you me nervous as a casting director. And uh, so go in confident, comfortable, yes, but don't fidget. The next thing we're going to talk about is playing with your hair. I almost went to my hair when I was talking about fidgeting, but uh, playing with your hair. If you have a habit of playing with your hair, uh, just it makes us feel uneasy that uh, you're nervous and, and that is a nervous habit that some people have. It's not that big a deal but if you can just be in the room, be present, be comfortable then you're not playing with your hair and it shows us as casting directors that you're focused, that you're interested and that you're happy to be there at the interview uh, audition process. Now let's look at uh, don't. Number three is don't be defensive. There's so many people that seem like they're defensive about everything that anyone brings up and they make an excuse. Uh, that's part of where you want to uh, take the information and use it as constructive criticism, uh, but don't ever feel that you have to defend yourself because when a casting director who is in a very powerful position uh, makes a comment, they're not looking for you to give them any feedback. They're just looking for you to take the information and move on. Uh, do with it what you want, but definitely don't become defensive or feel like you have to defend yourself. Yeah. All right, let's go right into tip number four on the don'ts. The thing that's very important for you to remember when you're there is don't hold back. When you're in the room, you've done a little research on the film or uh, the casting that you're there for. Uh, absolutely participate because when you hold back uh, the casting directors don't know that you're interested uh, so one of my biggest tips is don't hold back give us what you got give us your information give us your feedback give us your interest and then we know that we want you to be a part of the team because you want to be a part of the team because you didn't hold back all right, and although there are many more tips I could give you, on the don'ts, I'm going to give you one more, and this is my last one for this session, is uh, number six, and that's don't be nervous. I don't know why people are nervous in life, uh, just something you got to figure out why it makes you nervous. Now, I've heard from superstars that you know you're doing the right thing and you're in the right place when you are nervous. So a little nerves is fine, uh, but you got to shake off those nerves. If you got to run up and down the stairs while you're waiting to come in, whatever it is that uh, relaxes you, uh, the, my biggest tip there is don't be nervous.
All right. Thank you so much. That's all I have for you today in the do's and don'ts. But stay tuned. We have many more tips for you coming your way.